Hello, my name is Leah Zalams and I'm the founder and CEO of Z-Axis Leadership Consultancy here in Sydney, Australia. And it gives me great pleasure to give you a few minutes to talk about how to parent through this current crisis. How do we take care of our mental health, mental toughness in this time of extreme craziness and uncertainty? So before we start, um, go to the first slide, I'll just talk about the uh, picture behind me, which is me running and finishing the New York Marathon in 2016 and the preparation and the work and the mindset it takes to run a 26.1 uh, uh, mile or 42.2 or kilometre marathon absolutely is, is so equally as much in how we think to keep our feet going one foot in front of the other when everything in my body is telling me to stop. So a lot of the learnings, a lot of the preparation, a lot of the ability to endure stress and pressure I've learned through my marathon running. So I hope some of that will come through uh, and, and be of use and be of help for you today. So let's jump into it. Um, before we go here, let's start with who I am. So as I said, we're talking mental health, mental toughness for parenting through crisis now. I have a background in coaching psychology and medical science. I have a career in, in medical technology and healthcare uh, sales and, and business. And over the last five years, I have been uh, focusing purely on human behavior, leader development and health, mental health, mental toughness. So I focus on team leader development and, uh, and their teams uh, in the science and technology industries. And my focus is very much mental health, mental toughness. And you as a parent are the CEO and the leader of your family and responsible for yourself and the well-being of your family. So everything I teach in corporate is absolutely relevant to what you're experiencing as a parent going through crisis now. So what do I teach and coach on? I teach and coach how to improve how we think, lead and behave so we can make better decisions for ourselves, our families, our teams and the planet. So let's start with you. How are you feeling? What is your emotional state today? And this is a beautiful uh, graphic that has been produced by Susan David, who is an organizational, <coughs> excuse me, psychologist and clinical psychologist. And her focus is very much on our emotional agility. <clears throat> our emotional agility <clears throat> is about being able to bend and flex, much like the bamboo. We need to be able to bend and flex according to how things change, but we've also got to be, have that backbone of steel to know where we're going and what's most important to us so we continue to prioritise that over and above <coughs> all the other things that are coming at us and wanting our attention. And I love what Susan says here, we may not be able to go outside, but we can go inside. We may not be able to go outside, but we can go inside. It takes courage, it takes focus, it takes time to turn that spotlight within yourself. And that's what I'm gonna ask you to do right now. Take a couple of deep breaths, And notice how that helps to have a calming effect already. And it certainly helps you notice more about what's going on in your internal world. So if we start with gentle acceptance here, on a scale of one to 10, where 10 is lots of gentle acceptance for yourself in terms of how you're doing, what you're doing, how you're handling things, where are you? How do you rate yourself right now? Similarly, with self-compassion, 
you must be able to meet yourself where you are and you must be able to meet others where they are. But in order to meet others where they are, whether it's your children, your partner, your bosses, we have to meet ourselves first. So on a scale of zero to 10, where, what is your level of self-compassion today? What is your daily routine? Do you have a morning ritual? What do you do for that first 30 minutes of every day? Do you make appointments for yourself that when you get up, whether it's six o'clock, five o'clock, seven o'clock, that first half hour is for your self-care, for exercise, for meditation, for reading gratitudes, for taking time to said to yourself before you go and meet the needs of others all pressing for your time and attention. This routine is definitely something that most professional coaches can work with you on um, it's, and, and help to keep you accountable, but it's absolutely central to being able to move in some kind of semblance of calm through this incredible time of uncertainty and crisis. How well are you connecting with people you love, people you care about? Are you asking for help perhaps to uh, learn the online skills necessary to connect on Skype or Zoom? Um, and when in doubt, pick up the phone. But we must make time for social connection because without social connection in these times of physical um, distancing, the disconnect emotional, Emotionally is very, very bad. That is what will drive people into um, bad habits, addictions, loneliness, depression. Indeed, uh, the spiral goes down and, and suicide, violence, all of that bad stuff will happen if we're not meeting our emotional and psychological needs and definitely daily routine and connection with supportive, loving others is paramount. And all of this, to turn that torchlight, that attention, make those appointments with yourself in the diary, it takes courage to do that. It takes courage and focus and starting again and starting again every time we fall off the wagon because we're going to fall off the wagon and we're going to forget to put ourselves first. That's part of the human condition. But when we do more of that, <coughs> we will find that we will our sense of being, our sense of, of calm, our sense of certainty will reset. And when this is over, and it will be, the crisis too shall pass. Which parts of normal no longer seem useful to you? If we can self-care through this time, if we can put our psychological and emotional needs first before those of others, we really will be able to reset ourselves during this time of crisis and come out of the other end knowing exactly what is okay and what is not okay for us, our loved ones and our, our lives. And this is where the wisdom, life's beauty is inseparable from its fragility. My goodness, isn't that so true? And it's such... Yes, it's, it's very true in, in, in itself, isn't it? But the wisdom will come by turning that spotlight on our inner side world each and every day. So you might want to watch this a couple of times and do the self-rating on each of these wonderful attributes here. But these are the attributes that will build your sense of self-love. And from a point of self-love, we truly can go anywhere and handle anything. So thank you for watching. I trust this is served. And remember, we can only ever do the best we can with what we have right now. And when it gets too much, whenever in doubt, ask yourself, what would love do? And be well, be safe, and know that we will come through this we're better together, stronger together. Ask for help, reach out, connect with me on LinkedIn, connect with me through my website, zaxis.com.au and know that this too shall pass.
you can and will move through this crisis and your family, your children, your loved ones, you will come through this and it will be better on the other side. Thank you so much for watching.